Meetings are where people meet tasks, meet projects, meet the conversations that we have, but very rarely are you able to find any good way of taking meeting notes and capturing action items in one tool. You're either getting tasks in a task management app and taking notes somewhere else and hoping they, they connect, hoping you can find your notes when you need them and hoping you can get your action items from the notes into your task apps. That's not a problem in Tana with the Tana for Tasks 2 template. Uh, Tana for Tasks 2 is, is launching on May 24th. If you purchase it between now and then and you'll get Tana for Tasks 1 when you do, there's a 25% discount. So I encourage you to do that. I'm going to show you how the meetings work with the template that comes with Tana for Tasks 2 in this fairly quick video. So first of all, I, uh, there's a meetings tag. You can see that I have meeting um, T4T, which stands for Tana for Tasks. Um, and you can uh, you know update that to whatever, whatever you need it to be. And I'm going to show you a meeting that already exists first. I just thought it would be quicker. And then I'll show you how you can create it as well. So here in this uh, meeting, we've already got some notes. You can see it's scheduled for a particular time here. It's a Zoom call. John and Jane are both in attendance. We're looking at the project tech product launch um, as a meeting topic. And all of that being filled up here, particularly the meeting topic, um, gives us the power uh, that when we take a note or we note an action item, uh, which are two really important aspects of meetings that uh, don't really get modeled very often in task management, but it does in Tana for Tasks, that ensures that these are taken correctly. So here I've just created some, some uh, notes down here to work with. And these have just been indented uh, sort of logically along however those notes lay out. If, as I'm typing this note, I just very quickly hit hashtag meeting note, what you'll see is I have now, all of it stays there. Everything that was indented is still there. But now this note is associated with the, the project um, from the meeting topic and the meeting itself from the associated meeting. Now, why is that important? I mean, it's already underneath here. It's important because one of the really important things in Tana is being able to use queries to get at that information in a lot of different ways. Now, the note itself has that information attached to it, that means that we can use that to find exactly the notes we're looking for if we're looking in another query. For instance, I'll click into the tech product launch uh, uh, um, project here, and you'll see as part of that dashboard, also part of Tana for Tasks 2, uh, there's notes here, and that note is already in there. The note that we just took has shown up in that um, along with all the context, everything that's related to it. So if I recognize an important note, I can very quickly get that captured without losing the flow of typing. I'm not, yes, I'm using pre-written notes right now for the simplicity of the demo, but typing hashtag M-E-E-T and choosing meeting notes uh, from the list that pops up takes you maybe a second and it doesn't interrupt your flow. You hit, or, hit enter and tab, uh, and now you've indented underneath that and you can continue taking your notes. Very much combining that the power of an outliner with what Tana brings in terms of the structure. And the template for Tana for Task 2 is providing that structure for you. So any note that I choose to, to do that way will show up there. It'll also show up, you'll notice I have queries for action items and keynotes that come along with the meeting. It'll show up here in those, those places. So if I were to also have an action item where I say, uh, you know, uh, send John Smith the information about the tech product launch, and I tag that action item. Action item is just an extension of task, so it'll show up in all my appropriate task queries, but it has a space to be with an associated meeting and attach that meeting topic, which uh, for those of you who are in Tana for Tasks, assign bins up here, assign bin, essentially the same function as meeting topic. All the queries are updated to solve that, but they have a slightly different way of getting the information into them. Uh, so that's that's why there are two that essentially serve the same function, uh, but nothing's going to fall apart because all the queries are built with that interconnected in it. Speaking of those queries, you can see the action item query up here has that information 
attached to it. So that will show up there as soon as you take in the notes. So after you've you're done with your meeting notes, if you've you know captured your the important stuff along the way, the particularly important notes, uh, the particularly important action items, uh, you'll never need to look at all those notes again unless you really want to, because they will be summarized up here. And speaking of summaries, if you have this attached to OpenAI's API, which is which is pretty easy to do, I'll show you how to do it in the Tana for Tasks in the course, um, and it's very inexpensive uh, to use that API. I mean, like inexpensive in the sense that when I've been testing this stuff, I spent like 50 cents in a month. So it's not it's that, that inexpensive, um, very inexpensive. Um, I have a little button here that says generate meeting summary. And what that's going to do is that's going to look at this whole meeting, all the information that goes over to it. And then down here in this little node next to meeting summary, it's going to include on May 15th, John Smith and Jane Doe held a Zoom call to discuss the progress of a new tech product aimed at increasing market share and blah, blah, blah. And next is including assigned actions, follow ups. One action item to send John Smith the information about the tech project launch. I don't need to read it all. That gives you a summary of the meeting. So once you've done it, once you've got that all taken care of, this essentially serves as the dashboard for the meeting. If you ever need to return to it, all the action items, all the key notes, um, and a summary, including the attendees and all of that are now included up here at the top. And you could have queries where you look at meetings and only show the summary if you want. Uh, you could track all your meetings that way. And that's just with a little touch of AI to make that possible. So how do you schedule one of these? How do you put one of these on the calendar? So in Tana for Tasks 2, I give you an agenda creation dashboard uh, that includes uh, this uh, a calendar entry for the events. So I could take this here and let's say I wanted to have a two hour meeting here. And this is uh, a call with Joe Smith, we'll say. Um, and I don't want this just to be an event. I want this to be a meeting. So I'll hashtag meeting. And once I've done that, I actually want to remove event because a meeting is a type of event. I already have meeting extends event. But the reason I want to remove it is for meetings, I have a special way of creating the name of the meeting. You'll see meeting type with attendees. I can create this as a call. See, it changes to call with Joe Smith. And I don't have Joe Smith in here, so I'll create him as a person. And now call with Joe Smith is there. Uh, we'll say we're talking about that same tech product launch. And now I can start taking notes, blah, blah, tech info, tag that meeting note, already comes along with all the associated information and is attached directly to here. You can see that hooks up immediately. So there aren't any tools out there that I know of that combine the ability to take these notes and action items within a meeting with the task management directly and, and that they do it in such a seamless way. I'm using this for all of my stuff. I wouldn't build it out and, and you know, make a course out of it and make a template out of it if I didn't know that it's something that works and works relatively seamlessly. The really powerful part about it is that you can extend it into your own uses. If you have particular meeting types that you want to include, if there are types of recurring meetings that you want your own super tag for, extend meeting, add whatever the defaults are, add any other information you need, and now you've got a brand new meeting type that uses the same functionality. All of that's built in. You don't have to build this part for yourself. It'll be there. And when you do get Tana for Tasks 2, you get a community of people who are doing this with access to me. And there are live office hours events where if you want to build something like that, if you want to extend something like that in your own workflow, come, let's do it. It'll help other people and we'll get it built out for you at the same time. So this kind of power isn't really possible in other tools. This ability to extend this, this kind of work <laughs> into something that's specific to you, th that's, that's really difficult to do. And Tana does it essentially effortlessly. And this template that I'm bringing you with Tana for Tasks 2 functions like an app. This is effectively a task management app that happens to live in the Tana environment, which gives it this superpower of being able to connect more broadly to the notes that you're taking um, in in other projects or in other in other aspects, other areas of your Tana workspace. So I encourage you, if this interests you, Tana for Tasks 2 is coming out May 24th. Buy it between now and then because you get 25% off and that's lifetime. So you're going to get 25% off and then you get every upgrade to Tana for Tasks that's coming down the road. And I'm sure there'll be many as Tana continues to develop and grow. This thing's still in early access.
if you can believe that. As this continues to develop and grow, and you'll have uh, what is effectively a task management app living right within Tana. So, uh, and I'll also include templates ongoing in Tana for Tasks. So that's included as well. So I hope that you'll do that. And I hope that I'll, I'll see you in Tana for Tasks in some of the live office hours. And we can build something built on this that extends to be exactly what you need it to be.